Hey guys, Model Rocket 321 here on an overcast and cloudy day. There's some rain over in the distance, but it's not here where we are right now. So we're going to get a couple flights today. We're going to start the day off with the Strike Fighter. I believe I have a B62 in there. I can't remember. Can't remember if I have a C63 or a B62, one of those. So we'll see. We'll see. Model Rocket 321, hit that subscribe button. Let's launch some rockets. Here we go, we got the SD Strike Fighter. I had a misfire, the igniter had cracked a little. I thought it would still work, but it didn't go. So I switched it out and we're going. It is a B62, the SD Strike Fighter. Here we go, range is clear, sky is clear. SD Strike Fighter on a B62 going in model rockets. Three, two, one. There he is, nice on a B62, parachutes out. Coming down, twisting down. Nice on a B62. Trying to stay a little lower. I got a little cloud ceiling today. Don't want to be going in the clouds. And touchdown of the Estri Strike Fighter. Pretty nice flight. First flight. Everything looks good. This is a very true flying rocket. Very stable. Very stable design. Old school design. Real cool. 1989 these were first released so it's a very old one very old good canopies everything's there cone parachute good deal off to another one all right guys so you just saw the SD's strike fighter next up we have the screaming eagle this is a maiden flight for this one I never flew it before maiden flight on a c65 so let's see how it does here we go we got the screaming eagle on a c65 range is clear sky is clear we are going in model rockets three two one there he is five second delay didn't happen oh there it go that was a long delay parachute tangle too parachute tangle still flopping around should be okay wow that was it seemed like it was a little bit longer than five seconds but it flew pretty nice i like that profile you can see it is a like a fighter jet not the F-16, I guess it would be the F-15 what? F maybe? Got the double fins on top. Let's check it out. Wow, parachute tangled on that guy. After pointing straight down for a little while. Let's see what we got. Anything too bad? Uh, well, yeah, we got a busted wing. Yeah, busted wing. One of the wings busted off. That seems to be the only, the only issue, yeah. Kind of a clean break, not too bad. One of the side, sidewinder fins were already broke. It was broke when I got it. I got this as an already built kit. Somebody was selling it and I got it. I see some wadding tangled in there. But, uh, parachute. Yeah, it's got a little tangle. A little tangle. But, nice lift off though. It's nice. Nice flight. Got to get got to get this fixed up and we'll do it again. Alright, collect up all that. Be sure to subscribe guys. My Rock 321. Check the links below. And we will see you at the next flight. Let's go. All right, guys, last but not least, we got the SR-71 Blackbird going on a C-65. I just felt a drop of rain. So we're going to get this going. Going in five, four, three, two. Going in T-minus three, two, one. Blackbird arching over into the wind. Five second delay, not happening. Oh, there it is. It happened on the ground. <laughs> Stuck in the ground. Stuck in the ground. We're going to have to get over there. I felt a drop of rain earlier. I see it sticking in the ground. I'm going to get over here quick. Ejection happened. Hitting the ground, then it ejected. But we took a westerly turn. So into the breeze. It's a light breeze. Nothing too heavy. Nothing I haven't seen before. So let's go check this thing out. Let's check it All out. Alright, so here we are, here I am coming up on the SR-71 nose dive right into the soil. Check that out. Knifed in there. Damage is happening. It's my old one too. Oh yeah, that that kind of crush right there. I've seen that before with my um Project X. So there we go. SR-71's on the ground, stuck in the ground. Ejection happened while I was on the ground. I saw like a puff of smoke out the back. So we're gonna take a look at this thing. Let's get it.
Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV-coated finish. These collectibles are a must-have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12-card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card, plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out! Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio. All right, guys, it is debriefing time. You just witnessed a couple of flights, three flights today on a very cloudy day, a little drops of rain. Then it did start to rain in the area as I was leaving. So today was a little disappointing. I was one for two. Um, great flight on the uh, Strike Fighter. This is always a great flyer. Um, usually flawless, very stable design, nice design, Starship, you know, fighter type design. Uh, excellent rocket. I have uh, no complaints about it ever. I mean, every time I've flown it, it's always been um, successful. Let me get the motor out of here. As usual, that's kind of stuck. There we go. So yeah, I flew it on a B62, kept things low and slow. Just wanted to uh, test the air, uh, very old B62 engine. Um, went well. The um, delay seemed to be on, be accurate, and parachute popped out and landed, and everything was good with that one. Wish I could say for the, say that for the rest of the flights. Um, before we move on, I was gonna um, fly the Wolverine, but that's when the little drops of rain, and I had already had those two bad situations. So I just figured to just go on and call it a day. I was gonna fly this. This is a very old one. This is a balsa cone. The Wolverine's a very old rocket. Um, upscale of this would be nice, but it flies on um, 13 millimeter engines. I got the engine still in there. I'm gonna just leave it until I get the chance to fly it again. So this would have been the last flight of the day, but I went on and called it quits after the incident. So after the Strike Fighter, I flew this guy right here, the Screaming Eagle. This is an outer production kit by Estes. Um, it's a fighter design. Um, very cool. I think it's the F. What is it, F-115? One of them. One of them. With the double. It's not the 16. I know it's not the 16. I forget which one it is. But it's a very cool. It had a nice profile going up. It looked just like a fighter jet, that, you know, as the design shows. But we got a break here. It ejected. Like these... Let me see how old these C-65s were. Because they seem to be... The delay seemed a little longer than five. It was pointing nose down when they ejected. And then I guess it tangled. It didn't... Um, did not eject well. Let me get this guy out of here. Engines seem to be wanting to get stuck today. And this, whoever built this, they didn't um, seal off any of the, they didn't uh, mask off the inside of the cone, inside of the um, the motor tube. So that's why I'm getting everything. Is getting, that's why this is getting stuck. I have to use needle nose to get these out, get this out of here. Yeah, there we go. So it broke free. No, these. This is a new. This is a new C65. It was just. It was just weird. I don't know. That five seconds seemed a little. Seemed long, so it just was pointing nose down when it ejected. And um, kind of the parachute was out, but it didn't deploy the canopy. And it was just fluttering around, and it hit and broke um, just this fin. It was a clean, kind of a clean break, so this is going to be an easy fix. Very easy fix, like pretty much goes back together. You can barely tell it was ever broke. So I'm going to get this glued up and get this fixed. And I will be back flying this again on another day. Um, but... I'm sorry that it hit the ground. For, I'm sorry for that break. So and that's where things begin to go downhill. So I went on and pushed it, and I the next one hurt a little more. I did not want my Blackbird to crash. This is my very old Blackbird, one of my probably my first one I ever built. Um, and I had it for years, many many flights in different states. I flew it on the East Coast, flew it, flew it, flew it a lot of times. It's not the Project X. Project X has the two engines here, as you already know. But this is just the one I had built, and this is my flyer. I have other ones of this built. This is just my, my favorite one um, with the little mist of white on it, which distinguishes, distinguishes it. And I can see here ejection did fire. You can see those burns on the motor, and I saw it. It was new when it was stuck in the ground. I saw a puff of smoke, like it ejected, but smoke did come out of the rear um, back through the engine, I guess. So as it was facing on the ground and I got this it's crunched I'm gonna leave it all together so I don't leave and lose any parts there is another piece to it where I put it but I'm going to rebuild I'm going to get this rebuilt I've rebuilt these before and this is actually pretty cool that it didn't um this is still together so pretty much just getting all this section here just cut this away this is not a bad um not as bad as it looks not as bad as it looks get a piece of tube in there a BT50 in there 
get that little angle piece so it fits the cone. The cone is, I'm glad for this that it didn't crack the cone or anything. So this is not a bad break at all. I'm gonna get this all fixed up. There's another piece of the cardboard that went flying. Um, I usually keep a lot of the parts, a lot of the original parts and I'll use them. I don't know where I put it at now. I, I usually would use them um, in part of in the fix. So you can see a piece of that dirt still stuck in there. But I'm going to just leave this as is until I'm ready to um, start that rebuild. So, yeah, not, you know, rough day out there. I didn't want this guy to cry. I really like this Blackbird. Um, it's my single engine version. It's a lot of fun. So I was flying jets and, um, you know, ships today. But I had some um, misfortune. I had some misfortune as the rain began to fall, little drops. But... Yeah, I'll get this fixed up because I definitely want this um, in my collection as one of my one of my great ones. I really like this rocket, so or jet. So that was today, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, go on and hit the thumb up button. Also, ring the bell notification so you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Got another um, more stuff coming up. There's more stuff coming up. The year's 2024, so we will be turning things up this year. And just stand on pace, and I'm um, bringing you guys good content. If you appreciate the content, check the links below. You can support the channel in different ways. Um, the, the website's there. You can go see what's over there. Should be some more stuff coming soon. Yeah, so that's that's where we at with Model Rocks 321. Appreciate you guys. Drop a comment. I will get to you when I can. I'm very busy sometimes. I don't have a chance to really get to all the comments, but keep dropping them. I do appreciate it, and I will see you guys a little later. Subscribe to the channel. It's Model Rockets 321. All right, guys, I'm not going just yet. Just want to say that um, I think I know what was taking place today. This It was a weather. They had some weather out there. So there's precipitation in the area. And I think up a little bit higher, there is some breeze that was going on. And um, if you know anything about rockets like the Blackbird or any of these like fighter type designs with wood on the lower half or wider base near the engine, you will get weather cocking. So I think that when the Blackbird took off, it started to weathercock right away. It flew horizontal. Didn't get the altitude that it needs, so it turned over, and it stuck in the ground. Then ejection happened after the, you know, the five seconds. It was already burned out. The, um, the thrust had already went out, and it was just on its delay. So that's what took place. And the same thing with the Screaming Eagle. That one got a little more altitude, but that five-second delay, it didn't reach the altitude it should have because of the weather that was higher up in the sky. As it took off, it was fighting itself and going into the wind and then eject then a burnout happened and it was heading nose down as it was heading down it ejected but it didn't reach the altitude so with the screaming eagle we did get parachute it just tangled up but it was already pointing straight down because it didn't reach its altitude so that's what um when i was looking at the footage that's what took place you can go back and look at the video and you'll see um kind of what i'm talking about there and i'm talking about like weather cocking and stuff like that on the ground very little breeze but i think up higher and since there was like rain in the area and like stuff bouncing off and like a cloud cover i think it definitely was more breeze up there than um than i expected today probably should have been a rocket day like nothing like nothing with wide fins or a wide body i think just a uh, regular rockets we would have been okay um so that's just my final determination on what took place and how i got those two rockets destroyed it's my rock three two one subscribe to the channel See you guys later.